What's up, guys? How are y'all doing? Another installment of Casual Time with Mr. Klein. Now, I do want to share a couple of things with you today. I'm going to try not to take up too much of your time. This Bible was given to me by my wife years and years ago. Uh, I've committed myself to read back through Revelation. And I'll be honest, I've never read it with intent. Now, I am reading it with intent. Now, the other day when I first opened it, this is what hit me. One, one, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. And I got an arrow coming off of that. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant, John. And my arrow goes out and says, things that begin to happen, happen in quick fashion, rapid fashion. Now, I've never really been an end times guy, quote unquote, um, due to some recent personal things, some some events, some revelations of my own, I guess you would say, leads me to verse three, kicking me in the face the other day whenever I opened this up. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it for the time is near. Now, if we look around at everything that's going on, it's clear there's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of things, a lot of prophecies that are happening that are unfolding that look like the time is near. And I want to say this. I want to talk about a shallow seed real fast. God has given us an enormous amount of rain. And this enormous amount of rain is washing away the top of the soil. And what happens if we have a shallow seed? Our shallow seed is going to wash away with the rivers. As soon as harder times come, a rougher rain comes, we get washed away. And I feel like times like these, when we're facing this virus, I feel like there's a lot of people who need peace and they will see Christ, but this is where the shallow seed comes into place. They see Christ to gain this peace, this benefactor of having a relationship with him, but they don't, they don't dig in and it's shallow. As soon as the virus passes or whatever hard time that they face, as soon as it passes, they go right back to living how they were. Now the kicker, dig deep. That's my that's my uh, words to you is dig deep. This right here, the word of God is deep. And if we try to live our life and we're not carrying our e-tool or our shovel with us and we're, we're digging through, trying to find things, we're shallow. Our seed is laying on top of that soil and when it starts to rain, it's washed away. I do not I do not want to see people in that state. That's a scary place to be. Just seeking the benefactors of Jesus without actually seeking Jesus. Sadly, I'm going to go ahead and say that that is where a lot of professing Christians are. They simply profess. The only thing they want is the benefactors of that relationship with Christ and they don't really want the relationship with Christ. Dig deep. Seek Christ. You need peace. You need comforting. You need understanding. There's only one that can give can uh, there's only one that can give that to you and that's Jesus Christ. But for that to sustain, you have to dig into him. That's the kicker I want to share with you real fast. This rain is, is, has been immense. And I keep thinking to myself every day. Last year, I even said it. Is God trying to tell us something? And the word that I hear back is cleanse yourself. Cleanse your 
self. God is trying to tell us to cleanse ourselves. If we're heathens, we need to seek him. If we're Christians, we need to evaluate ourselves. Everybody cleanse yourself. Now, I want to leave you with this. I made a video talking about grace. Grace is bestowed upon everybody here. The sinners, the saints, the lost, the saved, we all have grace. The difference is the blood of Jesus. If we receive the blood of Jesus, our grace has drawn us into salvation. And from salvation upon death, we will enter heaven and into an eternal life with our Father, with our Creator. Now, grace is also bestowed to the ones who don't believe. And the reason why they're bestowed grace is because they're still breathing. You still have a chance, if you're breathing, to turn to him. This undeserving grace that he gives you each and every day to wake up. We have the audacity to tell him no. He could strike us dead. He doesn't. He loves you. He wants you to turn to him in a saving way so that he can save your soul. So that upon death, when your grace is done, you will live an eternal life with him. But if you don't, when grace is finished, when life is over, when death comes, you will spend your eternity in hell. Don't be mad at me. That's just what the word of God says. But my prayer is that throughout all of this, throughout all, all of this chaos and these things that are going on and there's a whole lot more going on that we don't even understand i pray that you will seek christ that you will seek him deeply that you won't seek him with this shallow seed that i see so many people seeking him with i pray that your relationship with him is sustained that you truly want christ i pray that throughout all of this no matter what, that God uses his people, that God uses this virus, that God uses these rains to glorify him. Man's chief end is to glorify God. And that's my prayer. Use us. Glorify you, God. That's it. I want, I want Christians to take heart. This is a battle. This virus is a battle. This life is a battle. The battle has been won. Jesus Christ went to the cross to save your soul. Stop. Rest in that. Yes, our flesh is facing these hard things in life. But dig deep. Just like where your seed is in the palm of his hand. Dig deep into your soul past the flesh and get in touch with what your soul knows because your soul knows Christ. And that's where we need to be, deep with Christ. But I just wanted to share that I took up eight minutes, probably about four minutes longer than I wanted to, but I pray that everyone is having a good night. I'm gonna go get some work done and pray over this whole situation. God bless y'all.